Warning, I swear a lot. Hi guys, and welcome back to Game Dev Design Tycoon Manager Simulator. I've forgotten my glasses, but you know what, I think it'll be alright. It's the last recording of the day, anyway. Let's just check game history real, real quick. We just did Spelling with Mildred, which was... Mm, it was alright, you know, it could have been better. Hot Bops, which was kind of mediocre. Mad Millie was better. Break Stuff was good. We haven't really had a proper success since... Honestly, Sense of Right was the big one. But I kind of want to let my next... Let's check research first. Let's see what we could work with. I want to do another publishing deal, however, because I'm not entirely sure what I want to do yet. And I feel like, you know, a little bit of guidance could help. Any topic action. Now, see, I felt like I was pretty confident with action, and then it just didn't work out. So, I'm less... Uh, an Aliens RPG. Capcom. Hunting simulation for the Jeep for the game link. That's fun. I want to try a hunting simulation. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? On Finn, I missed the FERC engine already. So a hunting simulator. All I can think of is that fucking bit from SpongeBob. Was just no, I can't call it alien hunting because it's not sci-fi. It's like, alien hunting, alien hunting. Yeah, <laughs> brills. Shoot. Shot a deer. <laughs> Fucking yeah, 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 no, it's good. Yeah, yeah, no. Gab, Gab, fucking Gabriel's shot a deer. That's my game. I'm excited about this. Oh, yeah, character progression. That'd be good for gameplay. I'm sure you really need character progression in this hunting simulator. I guess, actually, to be fair, like, you know, leveling up your skills and whatnot. Pop that down a bit more. There we go, that should work. I think this will help. I think this will do some good. We've got so much research. Next time we're researching more topics, because we really need it. This is Curtin Gillen from Gamers. I got word the FPS is doing shit. I'm willing to do that. Many of our readers are curious about what decisions go into making a video game and how companies prioritize development areas. Your new game is a hunting simulation game. Can you tell us whether such game would usually receive more focus on engine or on dialogue? Engine? Surely engine. Why would you need dialogues in a hunting simulator? Hello. In a recent interview with FPS, we discussed our upcoming hunting simulation game and asked company founder Foreman how different development areas are prioritized. In the interview, Foreman said that the engine is of particular importance for such games, and it seems other industry professionals agree with this. Every game development project has limited resources, so it's very important to use the time most effectively. Did that get me hype? It did fuck all, actually. But that's moot, because you don't do dialogues and engine at the same time in this game. But whatever. Fucking... Do I look like I know what I'm doing? We're gonna have Migaru on that, and me on this. Actually, we're gonna have me on that. And Erica on that. Bump that up. Erica needs some time to shine, I need some time to rest. That's good, yeah. I think that's a wise investment of time. I say, not actually knowing. But yeah, it's probably good. It's probably fine. Hey, we got some hype. Hey, we got some hype. Hey, look at that hype. Hype's good. I like hype. We need the game to be good. The super test has come out. What are we even developing for? I don't remember. It was Gameling, that's right. Fuck, why are we making this for the Gameling? We'll do it that way. Bump that up just a tiny bit so there's a little less work on me. And we'll see how this goes. I think this will work. But it's really hard to say by this point. Hey, hey, it's looking good. Hey, look, it's looking good. You see all this? Looks pretty good. That's a lot of design. We just need to iron out the bugs. Dear FPS, we have followed your progress in recent years and would like to extend this formal invitation to participate in the game. Uh, we're in G3. Having your own company booth, you can gain a lot of fans and hype. We'll contact you yearly with booth options. Excellent. Well, we'll finish Gear Brills, the shot, the deer. Gear Brills, is it? I like Gear Brills. Gear Brills is cool. We've leveled up on engine work and artificial intelligence, 2D graphics, V3, and sound. Alright. Multiplayer, better AI, 2D graphics, V4. <sighs> Stereo sound. Okay, well. Can we generate that game report? No. No, we can't. In the meantime, then, I would like us to... Oh, yeah. 
game report uh, on that and research. I want a new topic. I'd like to be able to make a racing game. Yeah. All right, here we go. This needs to be good. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's damn good. Oh, it's damn fucking good. Ooh. Ooh. Fucking hell, look at this. Simulation games work well on gambling, do they? News to me. Straight nines. Wow. That's gonna fucking turn the entire planet on fire on its head. I think we should save up... Actually, we don't need to save up. I think we should just do better AI. I think just having that available would be good. Oh, we're selling some units. Oh, yeah. Strong audience at the moment is everyone, apparently. TGQ have decided that that was good enough. I th fucking think it was, actually. Game report. Let's find out what we need to know. Hunting and simulation is a great combination. Sound seems to be quite important. I think we barely did any work on sound, didn't we? The latest game by FPS is fucking dope. I'm liking these publishing deals, actually. This is fun. Let's see what else we can work with. Although first, actually, I'd like to develop... No, not a new game. I want to develop a new engine. For the better AI. I'm real cool it. Foreman likes donuts. Food. Excellent. Alright, well, we'll just make that, and then we'll take another publishing deal and see where it takes us. It's actually quite a lot of fun doing publishing deals. Fucking Gabriel shot a deer is insane. People are going crazy for it. Media is abuzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference. And a surprise announcement, Vony, they're making the play system. Apparently Vony is doing stuff. And it's going to be the first CD thing four weeks time. How much? 1.5 mil? No, too much. We have enough time to start work on a new game by that point. Though if we got a publishing deal, we could probably afford a large booth. We'll go medium for now. Alright, food is now done. Okay, let's find a publishing deal. I want to see what's what's up. Do dungeon adventure. Any topic action. Rhythm, any genre, target audience mature, any topic simulation. We're good at simulation, but the market is really strong for everyone right now, so I'm thinking that dungeon adventure that Deep Platinum wants us to do. And they want us to do it on the test. Hold. Uh, let's see. Dungeon adventure. Dungeon adventure. <laughs> Don't <laughs> clean your basement. There we go. That's really gonna... People like self-parody humour. Hence how everyone thought Bethesda was alright until, you know, the whole Fallout 76 fiasco. Story and Quest is probably designed, so I'll have Miyamoto on that. Miyamoto on that. Engine and gameplay are less important. I actually think I want Erica on those things. Yeah, I'm going to let her take care of that, and then I'm available to do more stuff. I like that. Okay, we'll see how that goes. I really don't want to fuck this up, though, because, um... Yeah, I haven't fucked up a publishing deal yet, and I get the feeling it gets quite expensive. I think after this, I'm going to send Miyamoto on holiday. Mayamoto, whatever. Whatever his fucking name is. Dialogues would be important. Bump that all the way up. Artificial intelligence can come down. Level design can go way down. In fact, I'm going to set Erica to work on the artificial intelligence as well. This game's going to be mostly her baby, really. I dig that. Oh, hello. Don't clean your basement. Gabriel shot deer. How are people going to feel about- Oh, this is quite big numbers, actually. Hey, people like it. That's more than the amount of fans we have. Can we get to- Nah, but that's pretty good. 
I take that. Okay, let's see. We had 86, 87 basically thousand. We didn't make it in the top 100, but still, that generated some serious hype. So even if this is a huge flop, I think we'll still make our money back. Hard to say by this point. This seems okay, Adam said, with absolutely no confidence. Sequels! Oh, we finally got sequels! Oh, this is what I've been waiting for, baby! Baby! And while we iron out the bugs, the hype will continue to grow. So, the money is going to be fucking ridiculous, bruv. Do you understand me? Do you hear what I'm saying? The hype. I don't think it's going to go above 60, though. Wait a minute, was this for the test? Was this game for the test? Did I just fuck up super hard? Okay, Erica just leveled up. That's great, but I have more considerable issues. What did we just release that for? What did we just release that on? Was it the test? Don't clean your basement. I mean, the fucking numbers are high. They achieved a great balance between the technology and design. We didn't actually, but okay. Whatever you want to say, Star Games. Very good. Ooh. Nine's good. Hey, focus on world design. I don't give Erica enough credit. She did a damn good job on this game. Considering she did a lot of the work. Let's get that game report. It was on the test. We literally just released a really high profile game for a console that is no longer supported. I hope to god we actually make money from it. Hang on, we need to send um we need to send you on vacation and we may as well train Erica because we just may as well train her really. Um Game design for pirates, let's give her a go on that. Hey, we're still making some serious bank off of that though. Deep Platinum, yep, it totally met the fucking things. In decrypt message, very special offer, agents. I don't want that, no. Fuck off, Blowfish. Oh shit, no particularly strong dreads at the moment, but we took advantage of that while it was there. Gameplay seems to not be very important. Tess Adventure is bad, but nevertheless, everyone loved it. So, you know, I'm kind of happy with that, actually. So I want to research sequels. Desperately. Desperately. How do I research sequels? There they are. Research sequels. We need it so bad. He's back. We're going to send her on vacation. I want everyone fresh. Find a quick bit of contract work. This could be the- this could be the ep- Oh man, I really want to get to the point where we can do really good things on our own, but... Do game backdrops. That should be pretty easy. You both scratching your head simultaneously. What did I tell you about doing that? I said don't. There we go. Got a little bit of extra cash. That's cool. Do any of these guys want a sequel? Because if they want a sequel, we could make it happen. No. I really want to wait to make sequels until we can develop our own medium games without help, if you know what I mean. I think some more research would be good. Two D graphics V four. Fuck it, Mister Miyamoto. I want you to work on upgrading your technology. Get a bit of training in, boy. You're very good. We just need you to be a little better. Okay. Foreman hates bugs. <sighs> See, it's a double entendre because it also refers to game development bugs as well as real bugs because real bugs scare me. Don't like bugs, frankly. Uh, I could really do without them. It's unfortunate because I live in the middle of nowhere, so there's like literally nothing but bugs around here. Um, and I play indie games, so there's literally nothing but bugs in there too. So my life is a living hell, as I'm sure you can imagine. But don't let that worry you too much. As long as you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> and let's find another publishing deal, because we are actually a tiny bit low on cash. Any topic adventure from Infogrames. Minimum score four. 
Wow, why not just give me a fucking deal on a plate? So it's an adventure game, yeah. What would make for a good adventure game? What about a medieval adventure game? Yeah, that's a great combo, cool. Okay, so... Unfortunately, the only thing that we knew did adventure very well was the fucking G64, and it's gone. We're gonna do it on PC. Because I am an asshole, and I don't care. Medieval adventure. We're gonna call it Peasant's Plight. Because I like to make shit that's really mundane. Ooh, this is gonna be an expensive one. I think we got this. Yeah, no worries. Story and quests would be design, wouldn't it? Pretty sure. We'll have Erica on these two things because it's pretty easy. Yeah, fuck it, we're gonna pour money into it, it'll be fine. I shouldn't have poured money into it, it's not gonna be fine if we don't hurry up with this. Oh yeah, the monthly costs are quite significant. Better AI, Christ. Okay. Don't need that. I'll work on the dialogues. We usually need to get this out pronto, because I just realised we may have accidentally developed ourselves into a corner. And that could be problematic in many ways. Oh, I don't even want a fucking... No, I don't have the money. I'm good, thank you. Okay, uh, let's have a look at- oh fuck, that's a lot of money. We can't afford any of these. <clears throat> nope. <laughs> Afraid not. I hear graphics was- was graphics important? I feel like it was. There we go, now I've fairly shared out the work. We just need to get this game out. We need to get this game out as soon as possible. Because uh, we have no money. Hurry, guys, hurry. We need to also iron out the bugs. Oh, God, you added another bug. What did I tell you about? Do it. Yeah, thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraw up to 200k. All right, that's fine. Good. I was worried we were still at, like, if you go less than 50k, you're done. Curious taste for unusual games. Sometimes you just want to play something weird, a game based on an idea that's not the usual military action or fantasy RPG, just to name two examples. They want strange example. Okay, I think I could probably do that. I just realized that at the end of game development, you can invest in marketing. I had no idea about that. New combo, good management. Oh, I did well. Oh, is that because I had everyone doing 100%? I see, I see. I leveled up. Reach level 5 of a character. That's me, professional. Sometimes when your team has reached level 5, this unlocks a special training item called Boost. The training for it is expensive, you can only do it once, but once the character has at least 500 and something, but it's well worth it. Ah. Oh. I see, I see. Yes, I do see these things that the video game is saying to me. First reviews, Peasant's Plight, come on. Ooh. Ah. There it is! Nine is great, I don't need all tens. I'm not that fucking picky. One ten and three nines would be amazing. Yeah, excellent, love it. Get me a game report now, my good man. You can research something. We have no money, so just you two focus on researching new top ninja. Inta da ninja. You can also research vampire. Ooh, we could do some interesting stuff here, and they want strange combinations. I think I could make that work. Game meets the fucking criteria? Yeah, I bet it does. People are going nuts for peasant's plight. Train, just train. In the meantime, bruv, just train.
Peasant's Plight, the newest game by FPS, has caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. Industry professionals say that Peasant's Plight is one of these rare games that will set quality standard. It seems that it fucking took everything by storm. Level design, not very important. PC adventure, great. Medieval adventure, or medieval everyone, great. Everyone likes medieval shit. Yeah, it met the required ratings, you fucking wanker. Ooh, what can we work on here? I remember stories and quests we don't have a lot going on with. Simple cutscenes. This is the time to start fucking... Oh, I can't even... Yeah, self-published medium games. Oh my god, now's the time. We're gonna put this up to 800k. Complex algorithms. This is the time, this is the time! Guys, this is the time, this is the time. Carson Harrington, Kevin Flynn. Jim Black. Oh wow, he has no des design whatsoever. We do need people with technology focus, it is true. It is true. I don't want someone level one though, that's a little too weak for my taste. Speed and research, speed. Kevin Flynn. Although, hmm. Yeah, nah, Kevin Flynn. Uh, training, training. I wanted to give him the staff welcome treatment. I'm gonna send these two on vacation in the meantime, because. Can I not send him on vacation? No? Okay, well, fuck me then. Um. While we still got a lot of money. I want to start putting stuff into an engine we're going to make, basically. Multiplayer. Level editor, fuck it, why not? I know the trend at the moment is strange combinations, but uh, this could be the time. Well, actually, maybe we'll lead up to it with... Uh, we're going to test. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to run a test. It's going to be the dope engine, because it's dope. I never said I was a smart man. Oh, yeah, everyone's putting their heart and soul into this fucking engine. We're going to knock out a really a small game in the meantime, I think. We're going to try and pick up on that strange combinations trend. So what I want... Is a nin not Taunt ninja? We're gonna go for a ninja strategy game on the PC using the new dope engine. Uh, Shinobi tactics. I'm not fucking. My brain ain't doing nothing. There we go. We'll make some money doing this, and then um. Miyamoto will come back. Miyamoto, whatever his name is. And we'll just really fucking kick things into high gear. So we'll pop that all the way down, pop that up to there. Turns to me in the meantime. Actually, yeah, fuck it. In the meantime, I'm sending her on vacation. And Kevin. Is he still training? It's Jason Green. I heard your work. Yes. What is your expectation regarding the success of Shinobi Tactics? To be completely honest, I'm going to be modest about it, because um, I don't think it's going to be incredible. Hi boss, a friend of mine got is greatly involved in an organization which aims to get more women into technology. They're looking for a sponsor. Yeah, fuck it, do it man. Train, I want you to train. What do you need? I think a bit of everything would suit you just fine. While I work on this game. Crap, I have no idea what, uh... Let's see, if it's a strategy game, dialogues be weighed down, level design, and artificial intelligence. There we go, I like that. I'm not expecting this to blow the world's brain out, but, you know... I've got an idea. I'm looking forward to things. News. Got word that they recently sponsored a highly praised move to get more women into technology roles. Former the CEO of FPS said, We would love to see more women in the game industry. Hell yeah. 
Mark it as normal, I get. Damn it! Oh well, fuck it. Can I mark it this? Okay, well. Yeah, we'll just. We'll do that. There's a lot of technology in this game, god damn. Everyone apparently got in on this, even though they didn't actually do anything. Okay, now's the time. Well, first we'll generate the game report. Hey, you know, it's doing all right, actually. Yeah, people seem to like it. But this is not why I, uh, this is not, you know, this is not the big focus. This is not what I was excited about. I think y'all know what I'm excited about. Can I keep it good? I'll take it. Okay, now it's time for the moment, everyone. It'd be interesting, because I think Peasant's Plight might even have been a good one to go for. But we're not doing that. What we're doing... Gabriel's, we need to go back to that, definitely. But what we're doing is we're doing what everyone has been waiting for their entire lives. Right. Sense of Right Alliance. It's time. It is time for the sequel. Oh, medium. Oh, medium. Everyone, action game platform. Surely the play system is fantastic for action games, right? Going on real world knowledge. The PlayStation had a ton of action games. Yeah, I want to pay that money. I'm putting this on the dope engine. Sense of rights two. I'm just going to call it Sense of Right two. Sense of right to assemble. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm very excited. The best 2D graphics we can manage, which is perhaps not that impressive for the PS2, but or PS1 even. But you know what? Marketing. We need. Yeah, we need a large campaign. Oh yeah, we do. Oh yeah, we do. We want all the bells and whistles. Okay, so we want Migaru on gameplay. We want me on that. Bump that up just a little. Uh, we'll get Flynn on story and quests. Now nah, we'll bump that down just a little bit, actually, down to 80%. And go. This is the big one, boys. This is the big- this is gonna make everything happen. Oh, this is gonna make everything happen. <gasps> Large booth on artificial intelligence. Yes. It sucks that Erica, I'm not giving Erica particularly big jobs, but the problem is, is it's just that her skills are not as good as everyone else's. I want to give her more of a chance to shine in the next phase of development, though, frankly. 80k, that's fine. I don't know how what a good idea that was in any way, shape, or form, but uh, you know, it's probably fine. Probably fine. This is what I wanted. People are gonna go nuts for this, surely, because this was like a mega classic back in the day, right? People went nuts for this way back when. Two hundred ninety-five thousand. Hey, that's oh wow, the hype went up. Oh wow, the hype went up. We made it into the top 100 conference attractions this year at place 86. And we just gotta work out those bu bubs, those bugs.
It's time. It's time. There's no way this is going to be as good as I want it to be. There's no fucking way this is going to be as good as I want it to be. But... We've put a lot of work into it. We poured a fuck ton of cash into it as well. It's going to sell. Whether or not it's good is almost moot. Wow, those two. Oh, they cost a lot of money. Whether or not it's good is almost moot. It's going to make money. For sure. Generate the game report. First reviews. Ooh. Great. Hey, people really like this. I think. Well, this is just the first review. Maybe that was a bit, you know... Hey, it's good. Not as much of an instant classic as the first one, but... These, these are good. These are good reviews. Which means we're going to make some serious bank. Oh, let's get those units in. Oh, yeah, that's some money. Uh, FPS has recently released a sequel to their game, Sense of Right Alliance. The newest game in the series titled Sense of Right 2 Assemble was met with great responses. Critics praised that Sense of Right 2 Assemble had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. Well, yes. It didn't make as much money as I'd hoped, but, you know. It's, it's still selling, it's still selling. Let's check the game report. Sounds quite important. Topic audience match. Kevin Flynn is still new to the team. A few more games and the team will have higher potential. That's fair. Alright. Uh, there we go. Yes. Save. I'm gonna leave that there. We got the fucking sequel out to Sense of Right and it's doing great. Tons of money. It wasn't as well received, but I think that might be because Kevin was fairly new. But... I'm definitely learning more now, especially, that, like, yes, me and Miguru are, like, the more skilled uh, game developers, as it were. We're more skilled at the particular jobs. We need to get Erica and Kevin in more involved, though, because spreading out the jobs is important. I think if you overwork a character, then a lot of the their particular aspects that they're working on suffer because they're having to spread about their time so much. That's my opinion on it, anyway. At the very least, spreading out the work means everyone gains experience, which means everyone will get better. As long as we're staying in the green, we're doing great. It's perfectly fine. I just like making games at the moment. It's a lot of fun. But yeah, I am going to keep going. For sure. I kind of like doing the publisher deals, actually. It's fun having aspects decided for me, knowing that at any time I can say, you know what, I don't even want to do a publisher deal. I'll just make my own fucking game and do what I want. With that in mind, it's, it's a lot of fun to do. I love this game, it's great, I really like it actually, I really like it a lot. I have nothing more interesting to say than that, thank you so much for watching, I will continue this, I hope you enjoy it, and whatever we make, and you know it's going to be good games, I hope I see you there. Toodles, goodbye.